The book of Isaiah, Yeshayahu, chapters 48 to 50. Hear this, O house of Jacob, who are called by the name of Yisrael and have come from the waters of Yahuda, who swear by the name of Yahuwah and profess the Elohim of Yisrael, though not in truth or in righteousness. For they call themselves after the set-apart city and lean on the Elohim of Yisrael. Yahuwah of hosts is his name. I have declared the former events from the beginning, and they went forth from my mouth, and I made you hear them. Suddenly I acted, and they came to be. Because I knew that you were hard, and your neck was an iron sinew, and your forehead bronze, therefore I declared it to you long ago. Before it came, I made you hear, lest you say, My idol has done them, and my carved image, and my molded image commanded them. You have heard... Look at them all, and do you not declare it? From now on, I shall make you hear new ones, even hidden ones which you have not known. Now they shall be created, and not long ago. And before this day, you have not heard them, lest you say, Look, I knew them. No, you have not heard. No, you have not known. No, from of old your ear has not been opened. Because I knew that you are indeed treacherous and are called a transgressor from the womb. For my name's sake, I postponed my displeasure, and for my praise, I held it back from you, so as not to cut you off. See, I have refined you, but not as silver. I have chosen you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do it. For how is it profaned? And my esteem I do not give to another. Listen to me, O Jacob and Yisrael, my called. I am he. I am the first. I am also the last. Also, my hand has laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand has stretched out the heavens. I call to them. Let them stand together. All of you, gather yourselves and hear. Who among them has declared these? Yahweh has loved him. Let him do his pleasure on Babel, and his arm be on the Kasdim. I, I have spoken. I have also called him. I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Come near to me. Hear this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, I was there. And now, the Master Yahweh has sent me, and his spirit. Thus said Yahweh, your Redeemer, the set-apart one of Yisrael, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, teaching you what is best, leading you by the way you should go. If only you had listened to my commands, then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. And your seed would have been like the sand and the offspring of your inward parts like the grains of sand. His name would have not been cut off nor destroyed from before me. Come out of Babel. Flee from the castum. Declare this with a voice of singing. Proclaim it. Send it out to the end of the earth. Say, Yahweh has redeemed his servant, Jacob. And they did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He caused waters from a rock to flow for them. He split the rock and waters gushed out. There is no peace for the wrong, said Yahweh. Listen to me, O coastlands, and hear you peoples from afar. Yahuwah has called me from the womb, from my mother's belly he has caused my name to be remembered. And he made my mouth like a sharp sword, in the shadow of his hand he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver he hid me. And he said to me, You are my servant, O Yisrael, in whom I am adorned. And I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for emptiness, and in vain. But my right ruling is with Yahuwah, and my work with my Elohim. And now, said Yahuwah, who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, though Yisrael is not gathered to him, yet I am esteemed in the eyes of Yahuwah, and my Elohim has been my strength. And he says, Shall it be a small matter for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to bring back the preserved ones of Yisrael? And I shall give you as a light to the nations to be my deliverance to the ends of the earth. Thus said Yahuwah, the Redeemer of Yisrael, their set-apart one, to the despised, to the loathed one of the nation, to the servant of rulers. 
sovereigns shall see and arise. Rulers also shall bow themselves because of Yahuwah, who is steadfast, the set-apart one of Yisrael. And he has chosen you. Thus said Yahuwah, in a favorable time I shall answer you, and in the day of deliverance I shall help you, and I guard you and give you for a covenant of the people to restore the earth, to cause them to inherit the ruined inheritances, to say to the prisoners, go out, to those who are in darkness, show yourselves, let them feed on the ways and let their pasture be on all bare hills. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither heat or sun strike them, for he who has compassion on them shall lead them, even by fountains of water guide them. And I shall make all my mountains away, and my highways raised up. See, these come from far away, and see, those from the north and the west, and these from the land of Simon. Sing, O heavens, rejoice, O earth, and break out in singing, O mountains. For Yahuwah shall comfort his people and have compassion on his afflicted ones. But Sion says, Yahuwah has forsaken me and Yahuwah has forgotten me. Would a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Though they forget, I never forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are always before me. Your sons shall hurry, your destroyers and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes round about and see all of them gathered together and come to you. As I live, declares Yahuwah, you shall put on all of them as an ornament and bind them on you as a bride does. For your wastes and your deserted places and the land of your destruction shall soon be too narrow for the inhabitants, while those who swallowed you up are far away. The sons of your bereavement shall say in your ears, This place is too narrow for me. Make room for me to live. And you shall say in your heart, Who has brought forth these for me, since I am bereaved and barren and exile and wandering to and fro? And who reared them? See, I was left alone. From where did these come? Thus said the Master Yah, See, I lift my hand up to the nations and set up my banner for the peoples, and they shall bring your sons in their arms and your daughters carried on their shoulders. And sovereigns shall be your foster fathers and their sovereignesses your nursing mothers. They bow down to you with their faces to the earth and lick up the dust of your feet. And you shall know that I am Yahuwah. Those who wait for me shall not be ashamed." Is prey taken from the mighty and the captives of the righteous delivered? Yet thus said Yahuwah, even the captives of the mighty are taken away and the prey of the ruthless is delivered. And I strive with him who strives with you and I save your children. And I shall feed those who oppress you with their own flesh and let them drink their own blood as sweet wine. All flesh shall know that I, Yahuwah, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Thus says Yahuwah, where is the certificate of your mother's divorce whom I have put away? Or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Look, you were sold for your crookednesses, and your mother was put away for your transgressions. When I came, why was there no man? When I called, why was there no one to answer? Was my hand too short to ransom, or have I no power to deliver? See, by my rebuke, I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness. Their fish stink, for there is not water, and die of thirst." I clothe the heavens with darkness, and I make sackcloth their covering. The Master Yahweh has given me the tongue of taught ones, that I should know to help the weary with a word. He wakes me morning by morning, he wakes my ear to hear as taught ones. The Master Yahweh has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard. I did not hide my face from humiliation and spitting. And the Master Yahweh helps me, therefore I shall not be humiliated. So I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I am not put to shame. Ne'er is he who declares me right. Who would contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near me.
See, the Master Yahweh helps me. Who would declare me wrong? See, all of them wear out like a garment. A moth eats them. Who among you is fearing Yahweh, obeying the voice of his servant that has walked in darkness and has no light? Let him trust in the name of Yahweh and lean upon his Elohim. See, all of you who light a fire, girding on burning arrows, walk in the light of your fire and in the burning arrows you have lit. From my hand you shall have this. You shall lie down in grief.